All right, this is a hand trap deck profile. All right, this is uh, the hand traps. Uh, pretty much it's monsters that uh, you can activate from your hand or either during either player's turn or during your turn. So that's pretty good. You know, effects that you could just activate from the hand. So that's awesome. So let's go through them. Um, there's different types. There's multiple types for defensive purposes. I don't have every all of them in order. They're all in different places. So right now I got Battle Fader, Swift Scarecrow, Karibo, I got Gardner, Arcana, Force 14, Temperance. Um, I got other defense type cards. You know, uh, Hedge Guardian, Hedge Guard, which is good. I got Hedge Heart, Hedge Guard, which is good. You know, protect your monster. If you have tuners, you can use Battery Resonator to protect your tuner. If you have um, a psychic monster, like let's say Thought Ruler, which is a synchro, you can remove them from play during either player's turn with this card. So that's pretty good. Good way of protecting your monster from, from your, with your, with your card in your hand. Then you got something for grave keepers. You got something else. Another hand trap for grave keepers. So there's a variety of different cards out there for defensive purposes. You got junk guard now. So pretty much you have you have defense. You have look. You got the uh, you got black wing, searing winds. So. You also have this black wing, so you have a, a good amount of monsters for different archetypes. And a couple other hand traps, some people use them as stables. You got Maxi, you also got DD Crow, and of course Black Baylor. Those are the typical turning stable hand traps as, as they were. You know, you also got Gores, you know, anyone who plays with Tragoia, you got him too. You know, you got any Notorious Duelist, you got Cosmo Beat. For TG Duelist, you got TG Warwolf. You know, obviously for the Fairy Duelist or anyone who plays Light Types, you got the Honest. But there are other hand traps that are good out there that I prefer. You know, got to have my hand water. Got to love it. Of course, I got the Electric Virus, which is good against Machines and Dragon Types. Especially if, you, if somebody has a log gear, you can use this to grab his log gear and tribute for something. You know, one of your monsters require tribute, like, I don't know, a monarch or something. Or for him, or for him. Anything that requires, you know, one tribute and whatnot, you can use it. Or if you want to use log, uh, his log gear for something else, maybe a card effect. But, uh,. You got out of Justice Cycle Reader. You go play it during either player's turn. You can discard this card to select and move from play up to two light monsters from your opponent's graveyard. So it's good against you know light swarms and light rays and anything that's light related, even chaos uh, dragon deck. So this is good against light types. You know you even have a card for for Destiny Heroes, which is their honest basically. <laughs> Um, some of my favorite monsters are the ones that, uh, you know, can special, your opponent special summons, you special summon. Or they destroy your monster, you summon another monster. So those are good hand traps. In case your opponent clears the field, you can drop monsters. Like, for example, if your opponent, you know, destroys your monster by battle by card effect, you can drop him. So he's a pretty good replacement for something. You know, let's say you, you summon your Thunder King. And then your opponent smashing grounds your Thunder King, then you can drop, you know, interplanetary purple th horny dragon, and that's a pretty good replacement because at least you still have a monster. And he, you know, originally had trouble with the idea that you had a 1900 on the field that won't let him special, or he can special, but you would have rejected it, and then now you replaced it with a 2200, which he can't just summon something from his hand real quick and kill it. He has to do something for it. 
Um, of course, if you destroy, if your opponent destroys your monster by a card effect, you can drop stuff like Mechlord Grinnell or Mechlord Emperor Wiseau. So, get stuff like that. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can drop Phantom Dragon, which is an 8 star, so you can make rank 8s with him. You can use him in a Chaos Dragon deck if you want. Since you can summon him, see, he's light, so you can use him in there. You got Interplanetary Purple Horny Dragon. He's dark. You can use him in there. And Chaos Dragons. Uh, I like using him. I use him. And of course you got monsters like T. War Warwolf. T.G. Warwolf. You got Cosmo B, so when your opponent summons, you can summon. So it's pretty good when your opponent goes first summoning monsters, and then you can just start dropping your own monsters. So it's good to have monsters of that caliber when they summon, you summon. You know, you got something like this when somebody summons, special summons, you can special summon. And the cool thing about Chaos Hunter is it prevents your opponent from removing cards from play. So, you know, even if they summon a Chaos Sorcerer, they can't use Chaos Sorcerer effect to get rid of her. And she's stronger than Chaos Sorcerer, so they're not really going to do much of anything, so they'll feel dumb. Um, and then, of course, having this on the field ain't bad. Um... Because of the fact that if somebody exceeds or something like that, you can drop her right quick and then it'll slow them down. Especially they can't just drop BLS because they can't remove anything from play. They can't DD Crow, so then DD Crow becomes useless because they can't remove from play. So that's that's just good in general. You know, Chaos Hunter will prevent a lot of stuff. And if you go up against a deck that has a lot of remove from play capabilities, that their deck is all about removing from play, then this would be a good... Uh, a good response to that. You got extra Veiler. You know, your opponent special summon this, then you can special summon this. So, again, you know, your opponent summons something, you summon something. So, one for one. Your opponent attacks you directly. You can use that, of course. You can special summon this card, you know, in a chain link. So, you can use it in chain burn if you want. I haven't seen anyone use this in a chain burn, but hey. Think about it. Ain't bad. And there might be some rank 9s out eventually. So then you can use this. Stronghold Guardian. It's pretty good. Give, it's pretty much like the Honest for defense position monsters. So that's good by itself. Especially when you have a high defense already. Like a Destiny Hero Defender or something. That you drop this bad boy. That's a pretty high defense. Your opponent is just running into. And the good thing is you can, you can play it during the damage step. So, you know. Really good. Set that defender. They attack it, you know, with a, with a weak monster. And it's like, oh, surprise. Damage step. More damage. Skull Miser. Don't need to play this turn. When a card effect is activated in your opponent's graveyard, you can send this card to the graveyard to negate the effect. Which is good against, you know, any graveyard effects that you want to get rid of. So that's a pretty good card right there. You got some stuff that, you know, are pretty... Simple in concept, but when you exceed summoning or even if synchro summoning, something like this could be useful. You, you drop him, and you can reduce the level of a monster by one. And the good thing is you can do it to your opponent's monster, so you can probably reduce a level five into a level four and then use an effect that can grab a level four. Or you can drop a monster level four to level three. And use Possessed Dark Soul and take their monster. So some of these cards can be comboed with. Um, other cards, obviously, they don't just work by themselves. They also work good with other cards. Um, also, I have Mechlord Emperor Skyel here, which I didn't mention earlier. But you could drop him, you know, with the whole Mechlord set. You can play a card like this. When a monster you control is destroyed by balance and so agreement, you can special summon this card from your hand. And then, of course, one for sure, when this defense position card is changed to face it with attack position, you can special summon a Nordic Beast monster from your deck except a copy of him. Uh, so that's not bad, especially, you know, just get another Nordic Beast that's level 3, and then you can exceed into rank 3, so that's pretty good. Um, if the other Nordic Beast is a tuner, then, of course, you can synchro. Uh, what else uh, we got here? Uh, okay, of course, we got um, Herald of Purple Light, and we got Herald of Purple Green Light. 
and Harold of Orange Light. These are some pretty good fairy type hand traps. This one rejects this one uh, negates the effects of monsters and destroys the card. This one does spells and obviously this one does traps. So that right there is great in general. You, you put three copies of each of these in your decks, in your fairy decks, you, you, you'll, be, you'll be negating shit left and right. So that's a pretty good thing right there. Uh, for earth type monsters, earth normal monsters I should say, you got him, he's their honest. For fire types, you got flame bell baby, which is basically their honest. Not as strong as honest, but you know, you could say colutes if you want. I know it's colutes, it's not in this list, but you know, most of these effects are kind of generic. This is earth normal. You know, this is fire, and then of course this is light, so that's why Kalutz is not in here, but, you know, if you play Black Wings, you can play that Kalutz. But these are pretty generic, so make some multi-faceted, use them in different decks. You can more likely use this one here with Gaia Force of the Earth, since he doesn't have an effect, so he should count as a normal, so he is Earth, so this might work with him and make him a 3600. Monster, so that's not bad. Uh, definitely one of my faves right here, Darkness Snail Sphere. He's pretty great. 4,000 you can drop pretty easily. You can drop it in any Fiend type deck. You can even throw in a Dark World deck if you want. Fable deck. Anybody attack any one of your monsters, somebody attacks your Grappa, you can just boom drop and switch it out for this bad boy and make them feel like a retard. So I'm surprised I'm not seeing that many people playing this. This is a pretty great being type monster. And then of course I think I mentioned these. Nice little toys right here. I'm surprised people ain't playing these. These should be in your sideboard right now. Because these are your outs to a lot of things. You hate Lagia? There you go. If you have a problem with BLS or any powerful warrior like Kashian and whatnot, here you go. You got you got a way to take them. And Diggy, because you can't play mind control on this unit because it'll just reject it, so you might as well use Puppet Plant. And then it's a plant, so it would have been good in a plant synchro because you can pitch it, grab something, and then you can move it from play for spore, bring it back, and it synchro or exceed or all types of great tricks. So I'm surprised that has got played like it should have got played. You got this bad boy right here, and look, Tour Guy can grab him. Oh no, wait, my bad, sorry. Uh, he's an insect, not a fiend. He should have been a fiend. Then Torgai could have grabbed them. But anyway, it's an insect. You could throw it in the Exactors as a dark insect. So you could throw it in the Exactors and be able to grab Fiend and zombie type monsters. And the fact that you could probably splash uh, Zombie World and then this becomes even more useful. Splash Zombie World and then you could just drop this against any deck. So that right there would be great. Life Force Harmonizer, when an opponent activates into a card effect that inflicts damage, like let's say, I don't know, Chain Burn, <laughs> you can use this bad boy to make it the activation destroy the card that's trying to burn you. Hain Water, good against Hain Burn, um, Chain Burn. Uh, you got this. If you run the Gen X monsters, you know, the ability to pitch it on either player's turn to change the attribute of the monster. You got the Gemini M's. It's good against any deck that has uh, discard effects, like Dark Worlds and whatnot. Then you got, of course, you got this bad boy. You can special summon when your opponent uh, special summons a monster. So that right there is pretty good. And the fact that you can also bring him from the grave as well. So you know, if you have a card in your hand and your opponent special summons, you know. Let's say they exceed or something, then you can pitch the card in your hand and bring back uh, Dragon Ice into the back onto the field defense. One twenty two hundred defense ain't bad, you know. It's, it's always good. It's reliable, you know. Plus, it could be used as a tribute fodder, you know. If you discard, plus it's good in general because think about it. Let's say you're discarding Treeborn Fog. Right? You discard Treeborn Fog, bring him back, then during your 
turn your standby phase, you have no spells and traps, you can bring back Tribune Frog. Right there, you got two monsters for tribute, you know, whatnot. So it's just a good monster in general. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the monsters in one nutshell. Now, I noticed I have him, but I don't have the other one, the one that actually increased the star level. I couldn't remember his name, so. Y'all can look it up and find it. But, uh, yeah. There's the video. Hope you liked it. And if by any chance you can leave in the comment section below any hand traps that you recommend that's not in this list. Maybe there's a couple of monsters that I miss, you know, that I would definitely like to know so I can add it to this list of uh, hand trap monsters. Especially, you know, I love the, I, I might I might use them. You know, if the hand trap monsters you recommend are pretty good, I can use them, then I would definitely want to use them in future deck profiles. Alright, peace.